Well, good morning. This here is the Ball Parks of America. As you can see, there's lots of parking. Okay. And this is the building where we have our Veterans Village every year. Right here in this, this part of the building. But you're only seeing a very small part of the ballparks. The ballparks stretches over 27 acres, has massive parking. And just a minute, I'm going to be getting down here and I'll show you uh, their ball, the ball fields. We could park here for the convoy. I'm sure if they, they could work something out with the ballparks of America on our return trip back. Okay, let me get you a, a picture of the, the campus map. Okay, here's the campus map. Okay, I'm standing where you see that red arrow right now. But we have public restrooms. They got laser tag, batting cages, res uh, registration. We even got team suites, ping pong, lots of things for R and R for the convoy if they come. Lots of stakes. They're having a ball game today. I'm gonna take you out back through here and show you. We have public restrooms. They've got. Uh, a good game going here today. In fact, it looks like they've got several ball games going today. Yes, this space, sorry, this space here, as you can see, we could actually hold a, a charity tournament here, okay? I'm gonna try to make my way downstairs, show you the back lot, okay? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to be going down the stairs now. Uh, it's a beautiful place, and I really, really think that the convoy would love to be parked here. Okay, we could pull in here, easy in, uh, easy access in and out. Uh, lots of ways to walk about after riding in a truck for hours, and in the cars. Remember, it's not a Turkish convoy, it's a people's convoy. And I just think a layover here in Branson would be perfect for the convoy. Now we're gonna walk out here, it's, and we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you uh, where we have a whole lot more parking. And uh, you got a good game going here today. The, <clears throat> the Ballparks of America has lots of things that you could do for R&R. &R. Uh, besides, perhaps get together and have a convoy ball game. Uh, they have all the supplies necessary for that. Okay. Lots of room. When I get back here to show you the big park, the biggest parking lot, you'll understand why I think this would be a great layover spot for the convoy. There we go. Quite a few people here. I can guarantee you'll have a lot of people if the convoy stops here most patriotic town in the United States is Branson, Missouri. Got teams in there all practicing up. People waiting for the next game. Okay. Got more parking back here. Okay. But we got a big parking lot. Hi, you on live, hi. Hello there, young man. People are having fun here. And uh, you really can't beat it. I mean, baseball is America's sport. So there ain't nothing more American than convoying out and 
playing a little ball. We got lots of courtroom, courtyards, okay? Lots of things going on here. And I, if this doesn't suit you, I'm gonna find another spot. But uh, I recommend this. It's, uh, I gotta slow down, guys. I ain't got my scooter. And walk is one of those things I don't do very well. But uh, if you can see what I see here as a potential. Oh, my camera keeps wiggling on me. Okay, hope that's better. I'm still learning to walk and do this and talk at the same time. Okay? You come around here, as you can see, there's lots of room. And I thoroughly think you all would be totally welcome here. Uh, and if we come in on a weekday versus a weekend, there's not as much activity here on the weekdays. And there should be plenty of room. Now I'm gonna slow down here. I'm about to get to the other parking lot. Now those places up there, we got team suites. They got dorm rooms, beds, showers, lots of gathering space, meeting space, jawing spaces for the convoy. And uh, they got pizza by the slice, okay? They got the double play cafe. Come back here, you're gonna see how enormous these parking spaces are. Yep. Food courts. And a great view of our upside down hotel. Okay, I'm gonna bring this thing out here. Okay, you guys, my old legs just don't hold this very well anymore. But uh, you can see the Hollywood sign over there. Yep, hotels almost within walking distance. For those of you who are convoying in your automobiles, stay in hotels and over there in the distance that silver thing that's a great big old smeared octopus and that's our big uh uh aquarium yes right up there i don't know if you can see it maybe you can widen it but up there is king kong tornado took the top of the empire state building in uh during the leap day tornado. But we got rides and parking forever, folks. Take a look. We got parking here. It's another parking up around the corner. But guys, I can't walk that far and make my way back. But as you can see here, these are all suites that can be reserved especially during the week for the convoy people and uh i just think that if you asked them we could get this see right in here okay we got plenty of parking i think we could park the entire convoy in this parking lot and have plenty of room to spare. And having a ball game here for some R&R &R and maybe to raise some funds for the convoy uh, by being here, okay? So 
you all need to think about this. Like I said, they've got food court. They got shopping. If you're interested in sports, a lot of sports memorabilia here. They, I think they even got a place called the dugout. I'm gonna try going up these steps over here. I don't think they got the elevators working yet. They used to have elevators here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to make my way up these here stairs. They even got the puzzle parlor escape room. They got a beer garden, puzzle parlor escape room, meeting rooms, okay? In fact, here they have the fire department and emergency AADs is here, ping pong. Even got laundry facilities, okay? Now, what better place could you find to lay over for the evening? You got all of these different ballparks, and uh, you can enter off of this road right here. It takes you right on back into the uh, parks, right along in here, and it comes up... Uh, 248 and takes a straight shot into the ballparks. Love to hear them truckers come in here. Okay. Now, I'm going to do these steps. You watch me. They seem to have some, there's some folks coming out with some food. Is that, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm videoing live. Do you mind? They, they couldn't hear me. There's a lot of shouting going on around here. Okay. Now, if you guys can get to the organizers and let them know about this place. Now, this is just one of the many places where the convoy could lay over for a day and have some R&R. &R. We got a beautiful court here that I don't know. We've been known to park our military vehicles during uh, Veterans Week around this here courtyard. So with the uh, I just think that y'all would enjoy this space and uh, there's Operation Laser Tag, they got a Photoshop, y'all want to get together and have convoy pictures made, okay? Uh, Oh, my goodness. Tell you what, it's a little hard walking 27 acres when you're as old as I am. But it would be a great location. And uh, nobody's going to kick you out of Branson. Uh, oh my God, Lord help me. Oh, spare my hip. That's tomahawk throwing. Let y'all take your frustrations out throwing tomahawks. Okay. They even got a place where you can go in and 
do some of that weight lifting if you need to get your muscles back working since you've been sitting in a vehicle for so long only thing that gets flattened out is your rump but more parking up here lots of things that we can do in this space so I hope you uh, have enjoyed my little trip uh, you can see off over the distance that's the big carousel that was once in Chicago and it came to Branson great view from on the top of that big carousel as you can see this would be a wonderful place massive parking okay and uh, play your cards right we could do a charity ball game here yes we could lots of things to, it's on the charts here okay There's the How about a slice of review? Here we go. Like I said, right up here in building two is where we host our Veterans Week on the November the 5th through the 10th every year and you come in here and you register in one of these here rooms and then down there on the very end that's the mess hall where we feed all of our vets starting at 1130 every day a free meal uh there's a fellow that comes out and sets up here every year, Alex, and he sells those really, really nice flagpoles and some of the best flags you could ever get. Oh, guys, this one, the first one I showed you to, that's the St. Louis Stadium. Hey, what's going on? Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm looking to see about getting the People's Convoy to lay over here on their way back to D.C. Where are they right now? Uh, they're in L.A. right now. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, folks, I've almost made my way around this place. But you got to remember, this place sprawls out over 27 acres. And uh, I can remember when it was a mall. I used to bring my buses out here. That's why I knew they had lots of parking. Cause we used to park anywhere from 50 to 60 buses at a time here for shopping. So, and it's good parking spaces. Yep. Over there is the uh, Table Rock CrossFit I was telling you about. That if y'all feel like you need some exercise, you can pop in there and they've got a daily pass but you can work it out i'm sure the convoy could work out something so there's my car yeah the prettiest side i've seen all day right now because whoo it's my legs ever having a problem okay now y'all have a great day I hope you enjoyed my little tour, but I got to turn this thing off and rest. God bless you all. And you see, welcome home Veterans Task Force. 
honoring vets every day of the year. Okay? So, all right, I'm getting in the car and I'm shutting you down. Thank you so much for spending some time with me.